Hi everybody, I am super excited to be celebrating Halloween for the first time with my daughter. Halloween is a huge holiday for us. My husband and I started dating on Halloween and we got married around Halloween. So Halloween's just really fun. I love the season change. It gets cold, finally, cuddly. And I just love like, you know, the fall lipstick colors. I, you know, I like to decorate and I love costumes too. So I thought it would be fun to do a little Halloween haul for my baby's first Halloween. I am a new mom, so I have to shop on a budget. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. So this is what I found. Up first, we have the baby's costume. So I wanted to go for cute Halloween since it is my baby's first Halloween, like I said a million times by now, sorry. Um, she is going to be 10 months old. Oh my goodness, she's gonna be 10 months old for her first Halloween. And she's already wearing a size one, as in like one year plus. So she's a little bit big for her age. But yes, I thought that this was adorable. I got this on Amazon. And this was definitely the most expensive single ticket item. I got it for $20. In retrospect, I probably should have just gone thrifting for her outfit, but it is what it is. I did, however, get these really cute accessories and I plan to use these shoes with her outfit and just probably put this together with some of her other Halloween outfits that I'll show you in a minute. These were $5 at TJ Maxx, so not bad. Actually, my daughter picked them out. I showed them to her and she was like, Yee! she like literally squealed and I was like, okay, let's get those. Only five bucks, pretty great. Here is outfit number one that I found at Once Upon a Child. I love this, it's super cute. Like I said, I wanted to go for cute Halloween. This was five bucks, another cute little Halloween dress. And this one was three bucks, I believe. This cute little Halloween-ish fall, could be Thanksgiving sweater, which kind of reminds me of our dogs because we have a chihuahua that looks like the fox and we have a spaniel that looks like the bear right there. This was, I think, five bucks. I got an outfit. I don't know where the pants went, sorry, but these come with pants. It's a little Mickey and Minnie mummy. This was, the whole outfit was another like seven bucks. Got this little trick or treat shirt for her. It says trick or treat and then there's really nothing there. <laughs> but once again, dog Halloween, cannot go wrong. This was another five bucks. And we got another Mickey, Minnie, and Friends Halloween outfit, pajama. Could use it to go to sleep, could use it to go out. Very versatile, very cute. That was about seven bucks. Then we got this little pumpkin sweater with these pants. You could wear them together or separate them into different outfits. I tend to kind of mix and match, but these did come together. This was another seven bucks. So yeah, I spent about 40 bucks. Let's move on to decorations. So I got this amazing dog pillow that makes my child laugh so hard for five bucks at Target. Highly recommend it. It's nice and soft and fluffy. The dogs also love it. They think it's a toy for them. But yeah, it's really cute. I got these little mini pumpkins at Trader Joe's for $8 for both of them. Not bad, I could also cook with them, but for now they are just decoration. Last up is my big haul from Five Below. I've got like these two ginormous bags. I got spider webs, which is hilarious because I just had to clean out a bunch of spider webs. So clean out the spider webs and put the fake ones up. Two packs of these. They were very cheap. I think it was like $3 per pack. I got these stacking pumpkins that I plan to put some fake candles in and put them outside. So this was about $5. I got more pumpkins, kind of went pumpkin crazy. I'm probably just gonna put these around the house and maybe around my daughter's room as well. This was another five bucks. We got a seasonal rug. This was another five bucks and also very useful. And then we got this kind of ghost pumpkin that also lights up. So I don't have to put a light in it, it comes with it. I think it's pretty cool. Five bucks. And last but not least, I got a yummy scented candle. I try not to do too many scented candles because they're not great for your health, but something about the smells of fall just super put me in the mood, so I'll do it from time to time. This one is pumpkin sweet vanilla. 
smells so good. Love it, love it, love it. So I spent probably about another 30 bucks at Five Below. All in all, not too bad. I definitely spent less than 100 bucks. I think altogether, probably around 90 bucks. I could have definitely done her Halloween costume a lot cheaper, especially if I would have done something at Once Upon a Child or something like that. You know, sometimes Amazon just gets you and then you end up paying more and you're like, dang, I should have waited and saved some money, but it's okay because she looks super cute in that outfit. I actually have another video with her wearing that outfit if you're curious to see it. I'm going to link that video below. It's how to make apple pie for your entire family. So baby friendly and adult friendly, which is awesome. So yeah, that was my grand Halloween haul. We have just moved into a new house, so I didn't really have any Halloween stuff because I got rid of a lot of stuff in the move. So this is kind of like starting fresh. If you want to see me actually decorate the house with these items, keep on watching. All right, guys, it is a spooky, rainy, thunderous day. Very much looking gloomy, like fall out there. Baby is asleep. Perfect time to start decorating. I like to start outside and then kind of work my way in. I also like this method because sometimes it's hard to figure out where to start. So it's just like, just kind of start at the beginning. Start at where you're gonna walk through first and then go from there. Sadly, time to put away the sunscreen and the fan water spray in exchange for my friend here, Spooky Pumpkin. From here, you usually kind of walk into here, so I like these live little pumpkins. I think right there, pretty good. Then from there, I might walk into my living room, which means time for probably my favorite decoration and also pretty much everybody's favorite decoration in the house. Our friend Rufus here. And from our friend Rufus, I will probably have my candle here. Very nice, lots of pumpkins. Now I'm left with pumpkins and spiderwebs. I actually looked at the receipt and these were one dollar so very good deal on these actually. My bad, sorry for that earlier. BTW, I think I actually might have extra Halloween decorations somewhere downstairs so I might whip those out and sprinkle them around too. Pumpkins, pumpkins, dog, pumpkins, spiderwebs. So we have the living room here. I'm thinking I can do stuff with the fireplace. I actually didn't notice that it had fake spiders on it. I'm actually really scared of spiders. I'm wondering what if the actual spiders like this thing? I'd totally freak out. And bam, there's the first spider web. And from here, I spent a lot of time at my desk. So I'm thinking this pumpkin will go nicely here because it's more contrasty than the other colors for this desk. I'll probably just Stick it there and chill like that. I think we could do pumpkin here. Boom. All right, probably time to start decorating bathrooms. Let's do pumpkin here. I like that. This is my other bathroom and I think I'll do a pumpkin here as well. Boop. There we go. Simple but cute. I've got two pumpkins and a spider web left from the hall. I'm thinking another pumpkin by this guy might be really cute. Kind of like a mini me and a me. Yeah, I like that. I think this last pumpkin should actually go on my desk because my desk is so big that it could do with a little decoration. Also, it needs some organization. Don't mind me, busy, busy. Now, I'm thinking for this last spider web, the entrance right here, since this is like 
the entrance everybody goes through. Actually ended up stretching it out all the way across. So you wanna see my Halloween decorations? Show me the Halloween decorations. Pick up Abby. Ow! By the way, do we have more downstairs? More what, spiders? Yes. Halloween decorations. Probably. So I put pumpkins on my desk. Not the biggest ah, deal. That's cute. But it's Your a velvet touch. pumpkins. Obviously, What's something. What's scary is that if there's a real spider that big on there, you won't know that it's a real one. That's, that's funny because I've been saying that the entire time. So <laughs> come follow me. Um, I didn't do anything in the kitchen, but I have my friend here, Rufus. Rufus. This scented candle. It's really good. Velvet pumpkin over there. Oh, pumpkin over cool. there. I another like pumpkin. That. Spider web. I like it. it. Looks great. We have pumpkins here, and I put pumpkins in the bathroom next to um, this dried lavender That's in cute. each bathroom. All right, let's go outside and I'll show you guys what I did. And last but not least, pumpkins. I don't pumpkins. even want to step on this. Because it's so cute? Yeah. It's only five bucks. That's also cute. Do you put lights in those? Um, I'm going to. I'm nope. going to put the uh, the timed uh, battery operated ones. I was going to say don't put candles in there. No, I'm not going to put candles in there. So yeah, that's everything. That's very cute. All Unless we have more downstairs. We definitely have some decorations. I just cannot confirm or deny whether they are Halloween decorations. Turns out this one trash bag did survive the move that has random Halloween stuff in it. I'm not really sure what's in here, but we're about to find out. Okay. So now that I see what the stuff is, almost all the stuff is from the dollar store, for sure. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure everything here is from the dollar store. We're not gonna use everything, we're just gonna use this pile here because, I don't know, too much clutter and too much stuff, right? Yeah. So, we want the stuff that looks good. Yeah, so let's go outside. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna put these things around and then find somewhere inside for these things. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a happy fall season.